A photographer is traveling the country to document the people in Native American tribes. She has an exhibit up now at Fontenelle Forest and is in town taking pictures. Lindsay Thies is live at Mandan Park at one of those photo shoots. Lindsay. That's right, photo shoot underway right now. And a little bit about the photographer. Her name is Matika Wilbur. And before she was doing all this, she was an educator and noticed that some of the things that were being taught in textbooks weren't really reflective of Native American culture and history in the United States. So she picked up her camera and got to work. This way, there you go. On three, one, two, three. Good. The Mighty Mo is a great photo op, no matter whose picture you're taking. There it is. But there's probably never been a photo shoot with no, such meaning, such it. significance. Look that way. As this one. My name is Matika Wilbur. I'm from the Swinomish and Tulalip tribes of Washington State. I've been working on since 2012 a documentary called Project 562. 562 for the number of federally recognized Indian tribes, nations, and communities throughout the United States. For the past five years, Matika Wilbur has traveled, capturing images of Native Americans. She snapped frames from representatives of more than 400 tribes. In total, about 8,000 photos. But beyond that, she's sharing their stories. You know, this tattoo represents uh, seven directions. So we have the medicine wheel there, that's the Lakota. We also have um, another symbol that represents the sun. But more importantly is, is, this, is the tri this is the band that I'm from. This is the, the tribe that I'm from, the Lakota tribe. This is the band that I belong to, the Sichangu, the Burnt Thigh people. This is my uh, Indian name given to me through ceremony, Wambali Wakan Hoto, which means Holy Screaming Eagle. This is a number given to me by the federal government. According to Project 562's website, about 70% of Native Americans live in urban areas. The idea behind this project, document the people, break down the stereotype and educate others. My name is Reed Robinson. I'm an enrolled member of the Rosebud Sioux Tribe. A lot of people don't realize that um, uh, American Indians are the invisible minority. It's also inspiring the next generation of Native Americans. My name is Joey Montoya. I'm a Lipan Apache from the Lipan Apache Band of Texas, uh, but I was born and raised in San Francisco, California. But going to college, like okay. you interact with so many people from different places and they don't really know like all their, their ideas it's like what they see in film and television you know it's like um, native people either don't exist or there's like no one le really left or they just think of feathers and headdresses